But what if you make a lot of money? I, I, can, I mean, isn't it true you really can't qualify for bankruptcy? I mean, if you make $100,000 a year or 75000 a year. No. Or you have equity in your house or a 401k that's 100000 plus. That's a very common misconception. A lot of people think they make too much money or they have too much assets, and they just don't qualify for bankruptcy. Nothing could be further from the truth. California has one of the most exemption schemes for keeping assets out of all the states. You can have 30000 in the bank account cash and still do a Chapter 7, and nobody will touch that money. Okay. You can have five hundred grand in a 401k and file. Nobody's going to touch that. You can have 175000 in a house. Nobody's going to touch that. Well, what that. if it's just for $60,000 in debt? $60,000? Or 100000 in debt. You say just what if. What I mean is that's it, a lot of debt. But if your 401k exceeds the debt, well, why spend it down? So why you get can, rid of that so asset they won't touch that. when it's protected? Okay. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people will do that and then come back into my office, and then we'll file the bankruptcy, and then we say, well, you could have saved that. And if they were only in sooner, it would be better. Um, there's a lot of people that think they make way too much income to file. If you're, if you're single and you make $50,000 a year or less, you're presumed to qualify. Okay. If you're married with three kids and make $100,000 a year, you're presumed to qualify. Even if you're not presumed to qualify, there's certain things that we can do to get you to qualify in most instances. Okay. So it's a very common misconception. I have too much assets, I have too much income, but it's usually a misconception. Usually you can qualify, you just gotta get into the office, we gotta look at your situation and determine do you qualify or not, and if you don't, don't, then how do we make you qualify? Are there a lot of people that think, well, you know, I have to go chapter 13, I'll never qualify for chapter seven. A lot of people think that. They think they have Because the 13 seems like it's gonna be drawn out forever. It's a three to five year process. And a lot of people will actually not even come into the office because they think they can't qualify for a seven, that they'll have to do a 13 for three to five years, and they'll be under the court's supervision during that entire time. If you do a 13, that's true. But in most cases, a seven is gonna be the vehicle to get rid of that debt. 80 to 90% of our cases are chapter seven. 